Right. Now, two newly discovered hymns written by a famous church composer have been performed for the first time at a special Easter concert at Blackburn Cathedral. The long-forgotten arrangements by Sir Edward Bairstow were recently found by chance in the town's central library. Our reporter Matt Truen has more. <laughs> A glorious rendition of a recently discovered Easter treasure. But the story of these two lost musical arrangements starts here, in the less grandiose surroundings of Blackburn Library archives. We have a collection here of documents belonging to a Blackburn lad who became a world famous organist and composer, a chap called William Wilson Horn. And to my great surprise, we found uh, two pieces by Edward Bairstow in amongst the hundreds of manuscripts that were part of the collection. Sir Edward Bairstow was from Yorkshire but worked in Blackburn for many years. In 1932, he was knighted for his services to church music and his works have been regularly performed by choirs for more than a century. So how exciting was it to to find these these two hymns? Uh, elated, yeah. Uh, th there was something here which um, probably hadn't seen the light of day for over 100 years. Nobody knows exactly when Sir Edward wrote these arrangements of 40 days and 40 nights and O Come, O Come Emmanuel, but everyone involved in the concert felt these long lost gems had to be heard. It feels really special and I think the fact that we're singing off is a manuscript copy in his writing makes it a bit special too. Yeah. As well as a bit hard. For me, it's sort of like a Blackburn man who's found them in Blackburn Library and he's bringing them back to Blackburn Cathedral for everybody to enjoy. This year is the 150th anniversary of Sir Edward Bairstow's birth, and this is the first time in living memory, possibly the first time ever, these lost works have been sung. I think they're really beautifully written. I think they're really, really lovely harmony, unexpectedly written, and they're the work of somebody who understands harmony and counterpoint, so they're very exciting to do, and I hope they become more widely used. What do you make of the concert? Very good. It's very good. Yes. And I think the tone is beautiful and yes. the balance of the voices in the two choirs is tremendous. It's a very special feeling, yes. I have to say. Yeah. Yeah, very inspirational. I, I thought that was absolutely beautiful. Mm. I love, I mean, I love a hymn anyway, yeah. I, as I was showing you how much I loved a hymn. Yeah, you should have heard Rachel <laughs> singing along to that. But we got those, all of the first verse. <laughs> but those are beautiful arrangements. It is, yeah, uh, new arrangement, yeah, mm. um, performed there at Blackburn Cathedral. Uh,